Well, hello today. Today, oh, what a beautiful day today it is. Today is April the 18th, 2017. It's 2017. Y'all, I remember when it was 2016, but hey, at any rate, I guess I'm just going to continue to fight the fight of faith and continue uh, to and, and, and moving forward uh, to see what the end is going to be for me. Um, in my earlier video, I remember stating that I was on a spiritual journey, which I still am, a spiritual journey to find um, a better understanding. Although I have, I have uh, found out so many revelations that are just have just been so uh, stimulating to the growth of my understanding and who I am. That uh, I mean, it, it I really can't find the words to to express uh the truth and and the knowledge that I have been granted to understand and and, and to know. <clears throat> that doesn't mean to say that I'm arrogant because hey, I don't know anything really. I I really don't, except for the little bit that I'm blessed to understand. And and and, and by comparison, it is very humbling and very small. But at any rate. With even with the smallness that I feel like I have learned, there is a hunger in me that desires to know even more. Now, I had come up, I have come into the understanding that a lot of things that uh, the majority of the people that I know uh, were force fed a bunch of a bunch of crap, y'all. I mean, just 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 a bunch of foolishness. And um. We have uh, just lived religiously based on the things that we were force fed, the things that we were taught. We were taught just BS, just lies. And one of the biggest things that I that I found that is kind of like a a, a a great hindrance to people, especially uh, the people of color. Those are the only people that I can identify with because I am indeed a, pe a person of color. So that's the that's who I will use myself. But I have been taught, and most of the people that I've grown up with have been taught about Christianity. And the thing about Christianity that I have taught, you know, I don't even have to use anyone else as an example. And I won't. I just use my life and what I have experienced. First of all, I am 45 years old. And what I have learned about Christianity, and I'm not making this video to uh, point the fingers to try to pick at Christianity and try to make fun and and start a and start a, any type of uh, division or chaos or anything like that because it's already uh, effed up if we're just gonna be real. But I, I'm sharing this video uh, to encourage me and to help myself and perhaps to to touch anyone else. You know, like like I said, I like to try to provoke to thought because I've always been provoked to thought. It's easy to provoke me to thought when you're talking about something that's benefiting. And anything that's dealing with the spiritual thing is very uh interesting and you you have my attention. So Christianity. <clears throat> Good old Christianity. I mean the thing about Christianity is um and, and and don't get me wrong, I'm still learning, but what I have learned that Christianity in Christianity, if if you learn, if you, if you notice, there's so many things in Christianity that you cannot do. Every single thing sends you to hell. There is no wiggle room with Christianity. And there is so much. I mean, if you remember, people, Christians are dangerous. I remember being a young lady growing up and I was I was kind of in a rebellious stage because of the problems that I was facing uh, as a young child in, in my home. and um. Although I found so much sorrow uh, in my home, I found it so relaxing and so just just loving uh, to go to church. I love church because to church to me was the closest thing to God that, that you could get to, you know, because that's how I was taught. That's how my mother was taught. And I'm sure that's how her mother's mother was taught. We've all been force fed from generation to generation to generation, the same old uh, BS. But we were taught that, um, you know, you have to go to church in order to get God. Yet when you go to church nowadays, you find so much foolishness in the church that you cannot separate the two now. What is to separate the outside world world and 
the church, which is supposed to be such a sacred, holy place, uh, nothing separates the two now. And I don't think that it's anything that has just now manifested. I think that it's always been because there is no new thing underneath the sun. I think that uh, <clears throat> we as people are becoming more conscious and uh, the wickedness is getting more wicked. So uh, wickedness think that uh, judgment deferred means that it's not going to happen when in actuality uh, the father or the creator is very long suffering. Uh, but but not to get off of, get off the of subject of. Uh, so Christianity, we, we were taught a certain way, and in Christianity, we're taught not to. Uh, everything is so taboo. You you can you you can only pray to God, and 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 uh, you 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 got to live a certain way, and you have to think a certain way, you have to do certain things. But everything in Christianity keeps you um, minimized to basic thinking. Uh, it, 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 and, 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 and the reason why I say it's basic because anything dealing in the flesh is basic. Uh, it can only take you so far and then you, you're left dangling and, and still uh, incomplete. But I think that if once you learn how to view things and try to uh, experience things spiritually, wholeheartedly spiritually, then you will see it in a whole new different perspective, in a whole new different way. And, and in that way, you cannot limit it. So in, in that way where you cannot limit it, then you have to have an open mind about uh, not Christianity, but the source of everything. That is what you should be questioning. And that's why I always ponder, uh, yes, I know that, that the soul or, or the spirit is eternal and it, it ceased to it, it never ceased to exist. It, it, it is indeed eternal. But my question and my main uh, uh, concern or thing that I've always wondered when, when a person that I held dear to me um, goes on and, and, and they're no longer here on this earth with us. So we're, you know, and then the word, I, I, the word tells you that to be absent from the body is to be present with, with, with the father. But okay, to go into full details and to get a full, better understanding about that, what exactly does that mean? Are, are they in perdition? Are they roaming the earth, looking at every little thing we do? Is your mama and your daddy watching you get an orgasm? Is your mama and your daddy watching you clown? I mean, <laughs> I'm saying just be, just being real. This is this is real things that that I'm wondering. Is 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 are we gonna when we leave this 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 phase this this prison which is the body? Uh, are we gonna continue to interact in some kind of way or or uh, or or what? So I continue trying to find the answer to that. And uh, there are so many different interesting other channels on YouTube. You know, you just want to make sure you get the right understanding. And I have somewhat of an understanding, but my understanding is never at a standstill. I always want to know more and more and more. And it seems like I can't get the answers quick enough, you know. <clears throat> But I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think think that that's a very good thing because I it 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 keeps me uh it, it keeps my attention to make sure I constantly keep my mind upon good things, things that bring a good report. Because you know it it, it is a it is a it is a hassle every day to keep your mind uh where it should be so that you can get the results that your heart really desires. So uh. <clears throat> As I continue to try to search and to try to make sense of all of the questions that I have. And I know that it's for me to understand it because with what I know, I'm not content. You know how you, you've eaten a very big, full, delicious meal, yet you yet you, you know you've eaten all of that, that food, all of that good food. Yet it's something that, that you're missing. You, you need the dessert or you need something after dessert. You need something more that's going to uh, satisfy that hunger, but I have a spiritual hunger that I am in search to constantly, constantly feed because it's a constant thing. You, you can't feed it and be done with it. That just like you can't pray up. There's no such thing contrary to what we've always been taught. There's no such thing as praying up, but there is a such thing as continually searching and seeking and continuously praying. So that's what I will continuously do. Um, I just wanted to take the time out to share this with you. 
Uh, I would love to hear from you. Uh, I would like for you to leave me a comment if you don't mind. Please like and subscribe my channel. I thank you so much for tuning into my channel, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.